This is Clarissa Melendez with your News in 90. Gainesville Food Bank Bread of the Mighty has too much food after a surplus of donations during Hurricane Irma. The food bank is known for supplying several agencies and partners with grocery stores in the Gainesville area, helping those in need. Over the past two weeks, 32 semi-trucks have dropped off everything from food to household items donated from people in other states. In just one day, the food bank was able to give 124,000 pounds of food, 40% more than usual. Last year, Bread of the Mighty distributed 7.2 million pounds of food to local residents. In-person doctor appointments may now be a thing of the past with UF Telemedicine. UF Health Pediatric Physicians can now video chat with their child patients in Tallahassee. Patients can check into their local clinic where they will meet with a nurse and connect with their physician via webcam. Specialists from all departments such as cardiology, genetics, and urology will be available to assist. UF physicians will still travel to Tallahassee once a month for appointments with their patients who require a face-to-face -face visit. Even though there's no way to treat the Zika virus, a new study by the University of Miami shows a way to keep Zika from developing. After exposing a group of monkeys to the virus, researchers gave half of the group antibodies to keep the virus from spreading. The group of monkeys that received the virus-fighting antibodies did not develop Zika. The virus is spread through mosquito bites. It is especially harmful to pregnant women and can cause birth defects in their unborn children. While more funding for the research is needed, UM researchers say the treatment could be ready to help save lives in the next two to three years. That's your News in 90, but your Florida news is always on at wuft.org.